Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys what I want for Christmas slash some gift ideas that I think would be really great. Let's get started with the things that I want for Christmas this year. So the first thing is something that I've been wanting to try out for a really long time and it is the Fenty lip gloss. Just the original one. I think it's the sheer pink one. I'm really into lip glosses right now and I think it'd be cool to try that one out just because it's like so hyped right now. Next, I want a Katie pop socket. It's like the little things on the back of your phone that you can like hold and honestly guys, I'm on my phone so much that I used to like literally get hand cramps if I like held it like normally without a pop socket but now I can just hold it like this and it helps my hands so much more like such millennial problems but I highly recommend a pop socket to anyone who doesn't have one they're a life changer I do want a KD pop socket I had to buy a new case so I'm just using the station one and it was just like a free one that I bought um because they were handing them out but I would like a Kappa Delta one. I know I've been saying this in every single vlog, but I need to get my MAC foundation. I learned that my Ulta here in Georgia doesn't have a MAC in it. So I should have gotten it in Orlando because I did have an Ulta gift card. So I'm probably just gonna wait till I get back home. I do get the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, I think that's right. Along with that, I want the concealer, the Pro Longwear Concealer, I think. I ran out of mine and it was a really awesome concealer. So I just wanna repurchase that. Next, I want another Apple Watch sports band. I already have one in white that came with the watch, but I don't really like the white. Like I feel like it looks like I don't know, it just doesn't look as nice as like something else could, if that makes sense. So I literally wear my rose gold chain watch to the gym because I just really don't like the white one, slash I don't know where it is, slash I'm kind of lazy to change it, but I'm not sure what color I want yet. Like maybe like a nude or like something that would go well with my skin. Next, I kind of want like some kind of like a plain pillow. I've seen like that there was this one that was like a scarf that like turned into like a stiff pillow so you didn't have to carry around this bulky pillow it still held your neck when you wanted to sleep so i thought that was kind of cool i don't travel all that much but when i do i feel like that'd be really nice because i pass out on a plane like this like i will not write out so i feel like that could be helpful but like it's not something like high up on my wish list so the next thing on my Christmas list was actually some studio lights, which I already got. Ryan got them for me. And I asked him to give it to me early because I really wanted to use them like I am right now. I'll link these lights below along with everything else I'm talking about in this video. So go check my description box for direct links to everything. A part of me really wants low top white Converse just because they look so easy. Like you can just slide in your feet and be good to go. I do have high top Converse and I don't really wear them all that much. So I don't know if I would actually get much use out of these low top Converse, but I've been seeing like people wear them in Instagram and stuff and they look super cute wearing them. So I don't know if I can pull them off or I just think it's cute, I'm not really sure, but I just threw it on my list, might as well. Next is a day designer, which is a planner that has a page for every single day, which is so nice. I think it has like a weekly design and a monthly design, as well as a day design. So it's really nice to keep everything organized. And I remember right when I got mine, I was so into it. I like wrote everything down and I really wanna get back into it. I actually already purchased this one for myself um, and I got this design. It's like a snake skin thing, I think they call it. It's really cute and super unique. The next thing I want is the Adidas pink sweatshirt. It's like that millennial pink, like trendy pink color. I think it's only like a men's sweatshirt, but I just think it looks so comfy and cute. I know it's probably like $80 for a sweatshirt, so I don't really need it. But again, it's just something to throw on the list because I thought it was cute. And maybe one day I'll buy it for myself. I don't know. <laughs> the next thing I put on here is Lash Serum. I actually just posted an Instagram story a couple days ago asking you guys what kind of lash serums you guys recommend. And I got so many responses like the Rodin and Peels, Lash Babe, and most people even said castor oil. So I'm currently trying out the castor oil just because that is the cheaper alternative. I'm not really super good with sticking to a routine. So I'm trying to test myself and see if I can actually handle putting that on every night. Then I also want some leggings that are like the leather look or like a moto look or even the nude ones that are really trendy right now are super cool, or even white. I feel like white would get dirty. I don't know if I can handle the white leggings, but the nude looks really, really cool. I don't even know what brand I want. I just think those colors and those like styles look really cool. Next, I want some brown booties, and I feel like I'm really, really picky about any kind of booties. Like I have to see them for myself, I have to try them on for myself, because some kind of look cheap, and then others, their heels are too tall. And I don't know, I'm just like super picky about my booties. So that's another thing I'm just gonna end up buying myself. Like this is just a list to like have going. Like 
whenever I do feel in the mood to shop. And I don't really want to splurge on brown booties. I'll probably buy them on like some cheap online store. I definitely need to check out Lulu's shoes though because I've heard they have really good shoes. I don't know, comment down below if you guys have ever ordered from Lulu's shoes and let me know if you guys like them. Moving on to gift ideas, there's not many but I did want to share it with you guys. So recently for my birthday, my mom and my sister got me a photo printer and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I still haven't set it up yet. I actually need to go and do that because I really want to start printing out pictures. Like I've been in the mood to like make a scrapbook but Obviously, it's a lot of work to go to CVS or Walgreens and print out pictures and do all that. The one they got me is not this huge photo printer. It's like this small or something like that. And I thought that was such a thoughtful gift, especially because you guys know, like, I love taking pictures. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sometimes my dad will be like, oh, remember that one time we went here or here? And I always say, like, no, I don't really. And then I see a picture and then I'm like, oh, my God, like, I literally remember that moment. Like, I don't know if this is just me that I have short-term memory loss or something like that. But pictures just help me remember memories and I think that's so great. If the person you are giving this gift to is of age and is over 21, then a cocktail set would be super cute. I know I asked for a rose gold cocktail set for my birthday and I have yet to touch it. I don't know, I need to like learn how to like alcohol before I start mixing things around. But I thought it'd be super cute and it looks super bougie. So that day that I do use that, I think I'm going to be really happy. And once I get my apartment and like do my whole bar cart situation, I think it would be a really cute little statement piece. And I always see cute little cocktail sets in like TJ Maxx or Anthropology, honestly anywhere. The next thing is a candle warmer. And basically what this is, is just a hot plate that you put your candle on so you don't have to burn it or light it. And I think this is really great because you can still smell the candle and the candle lasts way longer when you melt it with a candle warmer because when you burn it, you can like literally burn it in like a day if you keep it on for like hours on end. But if you keep a candle on the candle warmer, like it can go for like months, I'm telling you guys. And my last gift idea is a candle from Bath & Body Works. It's the Capri Citron candle. And guys, this smells exactly like the Volcano candle, the Capri Blue, I think it's called from Anthropology. It's the exact dupe, like maybe not as pretty, but it smells the exact same. And I feel like it's such a universal scent that most people would love. So that is it of what I want for Christmas and gift ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>